let's say I was writing reviews about sex toys. It doesn't mean I want any single guy to come over and put a dildo in my vagina. It doesn't mean that. <laughs> right, right. However, but people you know, do assume that, you know, as you said, like poking the bear. Yeah. And okay. then when you say no, which I find a very interesting parallel, D, I want your opinion that when you say no to a dude who asking for sex, basically not even like you're not even there. You just like, hey, dude, I'm sorry, I'm not interesting. He immediately calls you sluts. The fuck is wrong with that? What crosses your mind? <laughs> what crosses those fucking minds that they are saying that? It just, I cannot even elaborate more on that. For me, it's so hilarious because I faced it since I was 12 years old. It's more the fact that the men are like, okay, they're not used to the rejection and then they feel embarrassed. They're like, shit. They it's, it's more. Rejection? Yeah, but it's more, it's like, okay, you embarrass me. So fuck uh, you then. You know, that's what they, that's, that's the thought process. I'm not even embarrassing you in front of your friends. You know, you did. It's, it's still like, I, I get it. Like I, I get what you're saying. Like you didn't disrespect them yeah. in like a public view, but they might feel disrespectful. Like, oh, well, fuck you too. Like, I don't care. You know, slut. You, know, that's <laughs> you just, cared just, two minutes ago, but you but, cared two minutes ago when you tried to yeah. take him out of <laughs> Yeah. And then they, they're just like, okay. I'm going to hurt you. Yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm, I'm basically gonna say anything to hurt her and make her feel bad. And maybe she might say yes later. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so, oh, yes. Now I have to agree because he insulted me. Guys, if you listen to it, never ever do it because it's so stupid and it doesn't oh. harm us. I swear. It harms it for a second. I was like, who the fuck he thinks he is? And that's but it. And I forget your name. I forget who you are. I block you. And that's ridiculous because it doesn't bring anything. And then you can be a part of a podcast when bitches like, you know, say, hey, that motherfucker. Yeah, but you know what? So sometimes it's like even even if a guy does that to a woman, it's the same way. It's like, oh, are you gay? Like, what? No, nah, I just don't want to talk to you, you know? Okay, I never uh, did that. I have a girlfriend. Like, why? why, right. why yeah, I never did that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. Okay, here I would say the same phrase as you said, girls do not use for rejection. That is true. Because we barely yeah. ask. <laughs> we yeah. we are not out there asking guys out all the time. I got like I I asked guy for a movie once and he said no. I got in my feelings. And not because he didn't want to see me, it was just <laughs> doesn't work that day. I got in my feelings. But I never call him gay motherfucker or moron and didn't block him. I was just like, okay, elaborate on that. You know, I did want the explanation, you know, but like it, it's a whole different story. But, you know, I got in my feelings. I do get it. However, I do have a sense, a common sense uh, in my brains not to offend a person about it. You know, no hard feelings, you know. Bye. So, man, what do you think that being sexual is still frowned upon however as we remember like you know from the video it's kind of like or not even from the video because we're being sexualized so much yet it's frowned upon of being sexual and it is nearly equals to uh slut shaming basically it's very simple this is the ownership of that power when the uh, patriarchy don't want <laughs> it's that simple it's yeah. like it's the same reason why um women had to fight to get a voting to get to get to vote it's the same same similar mm -hmm. and like yeah because like when they when they sexualize us it's on them they have that power mm -hmm. they, they get to choose who and how and like what this should look like and everything right like 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 not really like having like covering your wife but then having an affair with your sexy secretary you know mm -hmm. like getting to choose mm -hmm. yeah who is sexual because like my wife is not good to be she can't be sexual because it's my and wife anymore. she must be a yeah. lady mm -hmm. but 
but the secretary that's super you know like she's like younger or whatever like and I sexualized her because I chose her with this figure and like you know yeah it's like that that's okay I can like you know like do this on her butt every now and then or whatever that's okay yeah so um, I think that brings um, us to the whole... yeah sorry that's why I think being sexual is frowned upon because it take we like the woman that is being sexual is like like uh, embracing it, embracing the sexuality in herself, like it's like embracing how sexy she having can a be. voice, I think having a voice over it and like owning it is like wait what now now like uh you're a slut because you get to choose who you sleep like, with yeah yeah. <laughs> Now, now you yeah, get to choose who you sleep with. I am choosing. That's odd. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. I think it's just a power game. It's basically a power mm -hmm. game. I, I think which brings us to the really point down. where men created this whole like, oh, I want a lady on public and slut in bed. What do you, what do you guys think about that? I'm going to let you go first. Yeah, babe, babe. Go ahead. Um... So, yeah, I have many thoughts. <laughs> so I, um, like, does this whole idea for you is acceptable or not? And like, what, what are your thoughts? And like, what about you, D? Like, would you stick to this like stigma of having that kind of woman or, you know, j just like, you know, common thoughts? There's no right or wrong answer. Just I exactly that's not right or wrong answer to this because yeah. i believe that those boundaries like because th those are at the end of the day there are boundaries that you set for yourself and your partner um are very personal so i think it's more like what what am i cool with and what is my partner cool with and if that matches it then it's much and then if that's much then well like the relationship is not really gonna work. So before I used to accept the thing about like the, that say um, a lady in the street and a, in the bed because I'm like it's yeah you get to be polite it, yeah. and then you still are wild but then uh, I started dating Adrian and he was like I'm, like encouraging me, me expressing myself and my identity and I was like this dress which is like really covered or this other dress which is like you know and he's like why would you tell so much like you look so sexy on this like why wouldn't you wear this you know so that helped me to change my my vision I'm just gonna go with express yourself and then be yourself on bed too. Have fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't tag. So um, you know? we, I, I'm like the same. Like I'm, I'm more like, why cover yourself up when you look good? You know, do yeah. do do you like? I'm gonna empower you do to you? look good. Like you know, post that. And, and I find it's like uh, it's very sexy yeah. when a guy is not embarrassed of you, not ashamed of you showing yourself, because there's actually a exactly. thing. Yes. Go ahead, D. Go. It shows confidence. Yes. Yeah, because mm. it's like it's like uh, if, if you're insecure about like how good your girl look, why are you with her? You know. Yes. Yes. Mm. If you like anyhow insecure, yeah. Why? Why would? You, why would? You, why even bother? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, and it's just like so. It's like I'm gonna empower you to look sexy because I'm I'm pretty sure you don't want me out here looking weird and ugly too you empower me we empower each other we good you know that's true right <laughs> exactly exactly mm. yeah so i think this is more like like um every couple should like like okay what are your thoughts because some other people don't agree with that mm -hmm. some other people have their mindset in like different just different they yeah, have I mean, that, fine, that like, say, yeah Though, like, you should be, like, you should just be okay with who you are, firstly, before mm -hmm. even a relationship. And then once your relationship, I think, if the relationship is good, you just, you know, there's nothing, it's not, I don't think it's going to be an issue. That's, that's what you guys said, like, because the whole idea is, like, empowering, sorry, empowering each other. Not, not like, oh, 
be as sexual as you want not just that like it's, it goes beyond but that is also a part you know because i know a lot of guys um who would like oh your girl lo- looks too slutty too sexy or you know guys do that as well and i've heard it myself and i do have male yeah. friends who also objectify it like that and i thought it was a right back in the day you know because they're my friends i know they don't mean no harm however it is harm and that shows as well and guy gets in his head like oh why did she dress like that la 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 and he gets in the head like those words like don't let don't let anyone fuck up with your head hey.